Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election. Akin Oshun Tokun, the Director General of P2B presidential campaign, has made a startling revelation. And uh, this revelation he made is very important. And he is not a man that is given to saying things without verification. He said on AIT Focus Nigeria on May 1 that Peter will be the Labour Party presidential candidate in the 2023 presidential election, February 25, 2023 presidential election, won 90% of polling units in military areas in Nigeria. And they said that as a result of this, that Tinubu, the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, and the INL declared president-elect, did not win the presidential election in Nigeria. He stated that P2V won the election based on this deductive reasoning. He said that P2B won the election because P2B won 90% of all the polling units at military installations in Nigeria, military installations and environs. Thus, the elections that was held at military barracks, military inst institutions in Nigeria, Peter Obi won 90% of the votes that was cast. Initially, I didn't know that this was the reason why uh, former Director General of Nigerian uh, Electricity Commission, Dr. Sam Amadi, was saying that researchers should find out why P2B won in FCT and Lagos and military formations around Nigeria, that researchers should, do it, that should, to, to, should carry out research on it to find out the basis for this victory. So Akin Oshintoku was saying that P2B won 90% of the pulling units within military installations and around military installations. He said it to you, so you can go and look for the video and watch it on AIT. So he made this, this revelation on May 1, that's Workers' Day. while speaking on AIT Focus Nigeria. And he said that elections conducted at locations around military installations and their immediate surroundings were the most free, fair, and credible election. So he was saying that in those environments, the elections were free, fair, and credible. And P2B won 90% of those elections. He said one can arrive at the logical conclusion that Tinubu didn't win the presidential election because Obi won most of the polling units around military areas. I've already given you an indication of military areas, barracks, military schools, institutions, and what have you. And he said, 
look at what what was your station involved that in military installations across the country labor party won in 90 percent of them and of course if there is any place in nigeria where it will be difficult for you to rig an election it is the barracks so that relatively is a reflection of what happened in that election. You can use either deductive or inductive logic to arrive at the fact that Tinubu didn't win the election. That's the conclusion of Akino Shudoku. And I, will, I, will, I want to give you the significance of it, of this information. One, Nigerian military represents the diversity of the Nigerian nation, both in terms of religion, in terms of ethnicity. That P2B won in all those places, in military installations, which represent microcosm of Nigeria's diversity, religious, ethnic. It shows that despite the the tendency to paint Peter Obi as somebody who ran under religion. The military in Nigeria didn't buy into that rubbish. Military in Nigeria saw Peter Obi as a pan Nigerian candidate who would do good for all Nigerians, irrespective of ethnicity and religion. That is the only reason why he could have, have such an overwhelming victory at military installations in Nigeria. Because in, it is in the military you see some of the most patriotic Nigerians. You see most Nigerians who believe in one Nigeria and who have been able to a limited extent conquer the ethnic divisions that have characterized our politics. So that P2B the won there is an indication of his acceptability by all Nigerians. Another important point is this. It shows that Peter will be winning in military installations shows one, that the military respects his politics, accept, accepted his leadership, that they are ready to, to work with him as their commander-in-chief. If the Supreme Court declares him as the winner of the 2023 presidential election. Because if 90% of them backed him, it means that they are ready to summon, to, to, to accept him wholeheartedly as their commander-in-chief. There's no better explanation than that. It means that the, the military in Nigeria, the keepers of Nigeria's unity, have confidence in P2B and the new Nigeria he has been talking about right from the campaign period. So it should be a moral booster to those who support P2B. especially the obedience nationwide, who believe in his leadership. It also means that the military people in the barracks, living in the barracks, around barracks, around military installations, they have confidence in his leadership, that he is better than all the other presidential candidates. So that's another takeaway from this revelation. So it is, it is it's a good thing that so, this kind of information is coming out. It's a good thing. And it's, uh, it's particularly interesting because there are people who, because of ethnic bigotry, are saying that someone from the Southeast can never be president of Nigeria. Now, if 90% of our military is military, people 
voted for Peter Obi. It means that they are not buying into the rubbish and wicked politics by civilians and those who are saying that there's no way someone from South East will ever be president. It means that those in our uniform have concluded, they, 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 they have the mindset that somebody from South East who has the quality, who has the patriotism, like P2B, can be president of Nigeria. And they will work with him. Because if not for that, why would 90% of our women, majority of people in military establishment vote for him? If not that they have respect for him and they believe that he can do good for the country. He can do good for the security, can do good for the leadership of Nigeria. So he says it could be looked at from several dimensions, but it is a good thing. Like as Akin Oshutoku noted, for Tinubu not to win in all those places is an indication of how much rejection that Aswadibola and Tinubu and the APC suffered in the 2023 presidential election. And uh, is, is, is uh, another indication of the direction the country is going. We are having a situation where we have a military that is open-minded, that is not blinded by ethnicity or religious bigotry. It is a, a, a very beautiful thing to learn that 90% of the of police units within the military establishment, where our soldiers are men in uniform, voted that people will won ninety percent of the votes cast there. It shows that our military can be trusted to break the ethnic and religious barrier that are holding this country down for so long. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, I hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it higher and recommend it for more people. God bless you and yours.